Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. And you might have already guessed what I'm gonna be doing in this video. It's there in the title. So I have been recording quite a lot in the last year and in fact, I have learned pretty much so much about videos, editing, filmmaking, audios, post-production, a lot of things. And that is the reason why you are so seeing so much stuff on the YouTube. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the lens change. So I'm about to upgrade my lens and let's just talk about it. So I have recently been filming a lot of stuff and wherever I go, wherever I travel, I look for the moments which I want to capture or I want to film them. And this is not my work. This is not professionally I do. It's just a hobby for me. Everybody should have a hobby. So previously I have been recording all of my stuff with this guy. And a lot of you might have already seen this. This is Nifty 50, the 50mm for the Canon. And this is pretty awesome lens. And I have been filming on it quite a lot. In fact, I'm very happy with that for the indoors because it's a prime lens. It has got a few huge hole there and it, it absorbs a lot of light from it. And the reason why I use the prime lens is because I most of the time shoot indoor and in the indoor you have a problem of the lighting. I know a lot of professional guys have a lot of lighting setups and everything, but I don't. So I like to use the prime lens. So recently I thought this new year, I'm gonna give one gift to myself. I do it quite a lot. And the box has finally came up. So we're gonna be doing an unboxing for the nifty prime lens. And it's not a prime lens actually, it's a zoom lens, but I call it prime because a lot of people are saying about it. So it's a Sigma lens, let's just try it out. So again, I'm with my unboxing knife and let's just try that out. And it's gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, I hope I don't hurt myself. Let me just try that. There we go. Nice packaging. I expect this from the Amazon and they have always done a pretty good job from it. So let me just, oh, there we go. Okay, a nice packaging as you expect. A lot of bubble wraps. Let's just throw them out. And this is the packaging. Oh, this is quite awesome. So let's just explore this. This is pretty cool actually. And of course, they should be doing something like this because this is not just anything. I'm not ordering anything. This is a lens which needs care, which needs protection, just like a baby. So there we go. This is our Sigma 18 to 35. This is how it looks. And uh, this is the most beautiful lens I have found and every researcher, every unboxing, every reviewer has said quite a good words about it. That's why I bought it. And this is my first experience with this. This is an art lens in case you missed that. There is an A, there we go, the little A. And Sigma has been doing quite a good job. Let me just try to focus that. Okay, don't focus on my face, focus on this. Okay, there we go. This is what we are having. So let's just unbox that quickly. And uh, do I have to do a little bit more? There we go. And what you see is, I guess this is for warranty. Okay, I have to keep it. Don't throw that. If you'll throw that, that's gonna be a bad thing. And we have got some paperwork, limitation of warranty, limited warranty, blah, blah stuff. And a lot of, a lot of paperwork. Believe me, it's a lot of paperwork. It's a lot of paperwork. And it's a lot of paperwork. Perhaps I can use it for the poster of my room. This is a lot of paperwork. You can see this is a whole newspaper. A lot of information in a lot of language, but maybe someday I can use that or not. And to our valued customer. Okay, they are trying to sell out something. And there we go. Time, the moment of the truth. Box, nice box. I'm gonna keep it. So there we go. And now it's time to have it. So this is gonna be my box. And there we go. Okay, looks awesome. And yep, I was looking for this. I was thinking whether I had to buy a hood or not, but gladly they give you a hood. That's awesome. Let's first unbox or unwrap this hood. And yep, this is what I was expecting. A lot of people think why the hoods come in a different shape but it depends on what kind of focal length you are using because for the smaller one, like almost to 50, this is okay. But for the longer lens, which sees quite a lot at the difference at the distance, like 200 mm, they need uh, the full giant ones, the circular ones, but this is okay for the 50 mm because it covers a lot of range like that. So 
So this is good. Okay, one thing I can tell you from the very start, this is heavy. This is heavy. Okay, the moment, the moment you hold this lens in your hand, you can immediately see uh, and can tell that this is something awesome with the build quality. Uh, compared to the Nifty 50, which is very plasticky, and uh, this is very plasticky made, and this is this is extremely something. Believe me, this this is heavy, extremely heavy. Maybe I need to buy a new tripod because I believe that my tripod may be able to handle this or not. Because I'm using a very cheap one, a very cheap. I found that pretty cheap one. Uh, I guess I have to shift shift to something like Manfrotto or something. Oh my goodness, glass. That is some serious glass there. And there we go. I may open it later on because I don't want to damage it. This is pretty costly stuff. And rings are pretty sturdy. I can tell you if somebody is looking for the manual focus or something, this is pretty sturdy. Zoom. And one thing you will notice immediately there, there is nothing uh, which zooms out there like my this lens, which is 18 to 135 uh, kit lens with the 70D. This is actually something which you, where you can see when you zoom it, it comes and pop up. It, it's a big lens, but this guy doesn't pops even an inch or centimeter there. It's just awesome. And the rings, rings are so tight. This is so sturdy. Believe me, this is, this is one thing. And the, link, the ring had got a pretty much distance to cover to focus and everything. And I believe that's a good thing. I'm not a professional photographer here, but believe me, the quality is gonna be super awesome uh, because I don't have much of the light here. And to shoot good stuff, uh, we all know we need a few things. One of them is glass and another thing is light. That's all what we need to shoot awesome videos. So let's just wrap this up and I hope you enjoyed the unboxing experience. For sure, I'll be making a review of how I like the lens. One thing I can tell you, it's a heavy study build and a lot of YouTubers are using it and one of, none of them actually had said that I have regretted the purchase. So this is pretty awesome thing, worth an investment, but it's not for everybody because it's a little bit uh, heavy on the pricing range. Uh, I'll link down below all the pricing range that I bought. But again, this is not anything sponsored by anyone. I've just bought it kind of a new year gift for myself for my hobby. You should spend a little bit time and you, ch you should spend a little bit money on yourself as well. Whether you are buying something for yourself, just go ahead. Don't just work there because it's going to be boring. Just give yourself some time and try out with that. So with this, this was a quick unboxing of the Sigma 18 to 35 lens. And maybe in the future video, we'll rock on onto a review that how I like the lens, but we'll do it later on. Till then, I'll catch you up in the next video.